This is Richard with Sewing Machine Tips and Tricks. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to change the bobbin winder on a Brother machine. They actually break very easily, but they're also very easy to, they are also very easy to replace. All you have to do is open the machine, remove the electric panel that is there in the way, pull the bobbin winder out, put the new bobbin winder back in, and put it all back together. So with that being said, Let's get started. You need a Phillips head screwdriver. Remove your bed. Take the plastic part of the, take the plastic part of the needle plate off. Remove your bobbin and bobbin case. This one's a little dirty. <laughs> then you're going to remove this screw. Maybe. Make sure that you pay attention to uh, which screws go where. There's a few different types. There's that one. Now, when, once you remove that, you're gonna turn this around and you're going to remove this panel. Remove that panel and you're gonna remove this screw. This is a short screw. Keep that in mind because if you use the wrong one, you'll bust this. <coughs> and now you can start removing the rest of the screws. We got this one here. This, this one right here is the only screw that goes into metal. The rest of them are made for plastic, as you can see, it goes into metal. <laughs> this is another small one right here it's long but small and there's only two different screws that will fit in here as you see that screw and this one right here above the presser foot lifter they're both basically the same screw and these two screws will only go in those two places. The rest of these screws are short, shorter, fatter screws. And there are four screws on the bottom that we'll have to replace. <laughs> or excuse, there are four screws on the bottom that we'll have to remove. Using a screwdriver with a magnetic tip definitely helps in order to pull the screws out. And the last one on the back of it, right here. And these four screws right here. Once you get these four out, it should just open. You pull this plate off, and the machine should just open up very easily. So be real careful because this thing could just fall open, actually. Unlike most sewing machines, these open very easily. You see the dirt and 
see all the dirt and stuff? You really need to keep your machines clean. <laughs> now, <laughs> you've got wires here, two wires that you need to uh, need to remove. Okay, it's real simple. Just like that, I say remove, you need to unplug them. This one and this one. Pay attention to how they go in there, it's real simple. Okay, now you remove that. Now, we need to remove this, then we take this out, put the new one in, and put it all back together. We're going to unplug this wire and get it out of its little race. Notice how it wraps around that twice. Then we're going to take this wire and we're going to unplug it, get it out of the way. <laughs> we will unplug this wire, get it out of the way. And I believe the rest of them are fine, if I'm not mistaken. Now we need to remove this screw. And <laughs> this screw. Now this comes out. Whoop, I am still stuck somewhere. Ah, it is that. Okay, we do have to unplug this one. I almost forgot. I did forget. Okay, now we can move that out of the way. Don't need to worry about any of the rest of it. Now we will remove this screw. Notice how this is in there. Okay, notice how that's in there and how this holds it. Okay, remove that. We have two more screws to remove right behind the uh, winder. There's one. And one right here, push this in while holding the, pulling the bottom winder over like this. Pull that out. Okay, actually you don't have to take it all the way out. Okay. Now you need to remove the old bobbin winder from this, from this piece of metal. You're going to push it all the way to the left and turn and it will come out. To put the new one in, you're going to put it in, turn, and bring it in, bring it over to the right. Okay, one more time to take it off. Push all the way left, turn, and out. To put it back in, underneath, in, turn, and all the way to the right. Now, we need to put this piece on. Actually, we need to put the bobbin winder in place. Okay, put the bobbin winder in place, just like that. Now, this piece, this curve goes in. It does not go out, it goes in. This is what puts pressure on the bobbin winder to hold it in the right or left position. So make sure that the curve goes in. You know, put that on, just like that. Then you're gonna put the two screws back in.
or we're going to do one at first. Make sure you don't get this wire caught in there like I was doing. Now we've got to do the two screws for the bobbin winder itself. So tighten the bottom one up. You didn't take it completely out. You just loosened it. And then you'll put the top one in. Just like that. Once you get it back together, test it, make sure everything works right. Push it all the way to the right, make sure it turns like it should. Back to the left, back to the right. If it's not working right, if it's not turning correctly, if you put any oil on this at all, make sure that you clean the rubber and this, this uh, the wheel right here where with the grooves on it completely off. Make sure that this piece of metal, this little spring metal, is moved as far to the left as possible and tight so that it will push the bobbin winder as far to the right as possible when it's engaged. Okay, and then once you've done that, then you can put the panel back on and put it back together. So let's do that. <laughs> Be sure that you get all the correct screws in the right place. These have what looks like a washer. It doesn't move. Um, so it's just kind of a really wide head. Then we want to reconnect all the wires. Make sure you wrap around here. This just makes sure that this doesn't come out of place and get in the way. Like so. Make sure you get everything in the proper channels and remember how they were wrapped. You want to rewrap them the same way. That's to keep everything out of the way. Okay, now just put it back together. Um, Bring the front over, attach the wires, make sure they're in the channel, put it back together. I'm gonna to take this out and clean all the lint out real quick and uh, be right back. Okay, now we just need to put this back together. Just kind of set it together here. And then you're going to hook these two back together. Hook these two wires back up where they go carefully. Don't want to bend any of the connectors. They only go in one way. So if it doesn't fit one, if it doesn't just easily fit one way, then turn it around. So it'll go the other way. Now, need to put these wires back in the channel where they go. They can be a little difficult to get in sometimes. Take your time, work with them. You don't wanna break anything. Make sure that they get in. They, that keeps them out of harm's way. Make sure that they're all the way in the channel. Right where they go. All the way down and in and then you can just put it right back together 
just like that. Make sure everything lines up good. Put the screws in in the back. Actually, well, you've got it to the front, put the, put this one in. Put this screw in right here first. Remember which one it was? It's just like the ones that go in the bottom. Put that in. Put the front on. Turn around. Put this one in first so that front doesn't fall off. Remember, it's a special one. That one right there. And then you can put all the rest of them together. <laughs> Place your bobbin case, make sure it's in place. Place the plastic uh, needle plate. Put your bobbin in. Plug it in. Turn on, bobbin winder, there it is, running perfect. If you have any questions, put it down in the comments. If you need a bobbin winder for your machine, uh, I'll have one for this machine. You can check the link in the right hand corner or I'll have it down in the, uh, or I'll have it down in the uh, description below. Um, if you're not, if you have a different model than this and you're not sure which one it is, leave me a comment with the model of your brother and I will, I'll get the information for you, uh, and show you which, I'll get the information for you and show you which Bob and Winder fits your machine. Y'all have a great day.